Hey guys, USB is going away and USB-C is the future. Less than five minute install, you can do it yourself. Okay, we've already turned off the power. Start by simply removing the cover plate. And then the outlet itself. Okay, we guys, when you pull this outlet out, you'll either have one black wire and white, one white wire, or two black wires and two white wires. It really doesn't matter at all for the install. Um, the new outlet has easy to install screws for that, so it, it's the same either way. Now this outlet, they are, the wires are hooked around the terminal screws. The new outlet actually just has a uh, metal plate and a fastening screw, so we'll have to straighten these wires out to uh, get them to work. It's a little bit of grout from a tile job on it. There we go, chipped right off. Okay, so two blacks, two whites, and the ground wire, also known as the ground piggy tail, because they have two ground wires connected to one coming out of the box is normal if you're working on an older house you likely will not have a ground wire okay again the new outlet simply has the insertion holes with a metal plate back there that gets tightened up with the screw so all these out uh, wires you do want to straighten them all out really any pair of pliers will work And the ground wire has some paint on it, but the ground wire is the bare copper one with no insulation over it. Okay, onto the new USB outlet. That's what it looks like. Standard two outlets, two USB-C and one USB in the middle. Make your life a lot easier. Okay, start off with the two black wires going to the brass screw. Brass and black both start with B, so that's an easy way to remember it for new do-it-yourselfers. Actually, I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to straighten that out just a little bit more and I'm going to snip it. I see they really have too much, too much there, more than we need for the new outlet. So we're going to snip these just a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can go now. Okay, I feel that that's seated all the way in. The other black. And those are in nicely. Tighten those on down. All right, nice and firm onto the white. And then the white wires go to the silver side. Okay, they kind of bottom out when you feel that they're all the way in. Tighten that screw on down. If you give a little tug to be confident that it did go all the way in and holding well. And then this ground screw actually has a plate with two receiver sides on it, um, but we only have one going in. Let me get it on this way so I'll drop down. Move the ground wire to the bottom. Right under that plate.
popped out. Okay, that feels like that's nice and firm. We are wired in place. Now, uh, these are 12 gauge wires, so they're pretty heavy duty, but let's try to nicely fold it back into the box. Got some grout in the way from the tile job. There we go. Now, now it's in good shape. Okay, the screws are nice and tight. I'm good with that. The outlet is level. Now, at this point, you could do any cover plate with the rectangle shape, not the traditional outlet, but you do need a rectangle cover plate. And that's what that would look like. Although the kit did come with these decorative cover plates. They're actually pretty fancy once you screw that one on they're going to have this snap-on plate that hides all the screws and it's a real clean professional look. All right, so again, the kit came with this nice little decorative feature, gave you the screws for it as well. Okay, and then you just finish off with the decorative cover. It snaps right in place, beautiful look. Again, you have the USB-C's, you have two of them, so no more buying charger bricks. You can plug in your phones and any rechargeable items. You have a traditional USB in the middle and you still have your two standard outlets. Turn on the power, the project's done. I bet you can do it yourself.